How's it going team? This is the brown man. So this tutorial actually does pretty well for Ghost and for Buster. So I'm not going to go too in depth with the just the general basics because they teach you. But there are some things. So let's get into some of the stuff. Uh, one of the things here is that you can obviously customize your gear. That's one. So you do want to be mindful of that. Um, also, as you upgrade your, uh, your level, you can actually have secondary gadgets. The secondary gadgets, what you start off with is the VAD, Vertical Ascension Device. And it does what it shows here. You, uh, you are allowed to, at the base of some vertical place, you can now to clip, and then you'll climb up, and then you're done. Right? Ionizer pods are the first unlock ironizer pods allow you to hold like this you can warm it up toss it and any ghost in that vicinity will be slowed down a bit so this is good for um if you're arriving on the scene and if one of your busters is already handling a ghost you can throw one and try to wrangle it or you can throw one and then throw your trap and then try to trap it and if they happen to break free they get less distance because of the gas um, ghosts can break free the next item will be doo -doo -doo -doo, the radar puck so the radar park puck is actually not bad um you can, what the hell what is okay there you go oh <laughs> this game is uh, this is a before release, so there might be one more patch. That was, that was a weird visual bug there. So the radar puck actually is you toss it, and it, and it blips up, blip, 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 and it'll tell you pretty much when a ghost is or whatnot is in this vicinity, vicinity of the blip. So this works if your PKE is not active. Um, if your PKE is not active, then you can use a puck. Or if you want to try to corner a ghost, you know a ghost might be going one place. You can throw the puck in one direction and then go around yourself. Also, do be mindful that when you actually uh, level up the particle thrower all the way, you actually have a small PKE meter that you can put for uh, limited detection. Limited detection. But that's way when you level up to like the 40 somethings, um, you're able to get a small PKE meter for your thing. So those are your three options for detecting ghosts. You have the PKE manual, you have the radar, and then you have the PKE that you can actually fit onto here. So let's actually take a look at that real quick. So we're gonna go into, we're gonna change the active heat to small PKE. And it goes like this. Now, of course, we're going to go into the next thing, which be, which be the ecto goggles. So the ecto goggles, and of course, you use these ability, use these extra items by pressing R1. That would be my bad. <laughs> I didn't say how to do that. Press R1, boop, boop, and you're able to do it. So the ecto goggles is the last secondary gear unlock. It allows you to see extra things like trails. Let you see. Uh, dimensional rifts um some ghosts and you'll see in the ghost tutorial that you can actually smash through and go through walls you can actually take a look at this and it'll give you some extra sight on lingering trails and whatnot and of course you de-equipped by pressing l1 again i'm actually gonna keep that on so something to be mindful of is when you are for example tethering Alright, so Tether will build automatically. You guys will most likely have played the tutorial. So it'll Tether, and it'll still build heat and whatnot, right? However, the ghosts can actually struggle out. So if you are the second buster, if you are arriving as backup for a buster who is already ha uh, dealing with a ghost, you're actually going to want to come in 
and throw your... Throw your trap, right? Because what's going to happen is, let's say if I'm going to... I'm wrangling the ghost, right? If I'm wrangling the ghost, and then I throw a trap. You see that? I'm forced to let go of the tether. Then I'm going to have to rebuild the tether. So you don't want the first buster to rebuild the tether. Um, so you can throw the tether, your, you can throw the trap yourself as the second buster going in. Or if you're coordinated on comms and whatnot, you can actually start the tether the first and the first buster can stop the tether, throw the trap. So you guys will see once again in that tutorial um, what it is. I, I love the tutorial. I think it goes through a pretty good thing and I'm not going to make a video <laughs> based off of something that you know is pretty mandatory for you to go through anyway, right? That's one thing. But something that you do want to be mindful of is this PKE blast. So the PKE blast is actually not bad. Um, it is a stun. So if you do manage to hit a ghost, it is a stun. It is a guaranteed stun. And it actually takes them out of objects that they are hiding. So you charge it with R2, well, on PlayStation rather, zzz, pow. But you get no more reading. You cannot read anymore while it's booting up. So you do, do need to be mindful that if you blast, even if it doesn't hit the ghost, it still goes on cooldown simply because you use the blast. So if they start hiding from object to object again, uh, yeah, just, just be mindful of that. Um, but of course, once again, if you have the puck, you can throw the puck while your thing is on cooldown and it will scan for you. And uh, typically when I play, you're going to see this heat go up. And it does go down by itself, as you see here. Or you press square and it goes down much faster. So it all depends on how you handle things. Um, if you are facing the ghost and if you are trying to wrangle, then you can handle it that way. If you are trying to go for the, the rift and actually destroying the rift, then I recommend not having it go past half because the ghost can come in and help you with the rift and the ghost can actually move the rift and I'll talk about that when I go over some ghost stuff so this is this is pretty much it with the gear up so this is just the custom gear um, help guide for you guys is to how to level up your stuff um, was in the previous video how, how to get some extra stuff and level up each category and then this is basically, what do you do when you level up? You get more gear, and this is your extra gear. I want to be going over some more specific stuff. And in terms, I don't do voiceover, so I don't re record voice and then put that with video. I, typically, I don't like to do that. So any lesson that I want to do is going to be mid-match. And you guys will see for yourselves. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and of course, have a good one.